the first generation of rappers, or early rappers, I don't even like to call them generations, they're not 90 years old, you know what I mean? The earlier rappers influenced me a whole lot, I bought all of their records, from the Treacherous Three to the Crash Crew, the Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, to Fearless Four, to Africa Bambada and Soul Sonic Force, anybody I could think of, you know what I mean? Woody Wood, everybody, you know what I mean? And it was um, a big influence on me, it was like going to school, Spoonie G. And I just listened, you know what I mean? And I also heard tapes of the Cold Crush Brothers and the Fantastic Romantic Freaks and Theodore and them. I was listening to tapes, you know what I mean? Ruby D and Dada Rock and all that. You know, I liked it, you know what I mean? And I just started flowing with it. And I enjoyed it. And that's, you know, as far as me being from Queens, that's just where I'm from, you know what I mean? Feels good. That's where I'm not leaving. You know what I mean? That's why I'm not going to step off and get me a... Um, a $450,000 home, <laughs> you know what I mean? Instead of a house, now it's a home in Bel Air somewhere or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Staying around the way, man. They ain't going nowhere. I love Queens, man. I love New York, man. I love my people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes they may see me walking down the block with a chain on, with a face that seems like I don't love them, but deep inside I love them, you know what I'm saying? So tell me about how the inner city environment plays a role in, in molding, you know, rap artists and lyrics and style on well, trip. First of all, the dress, you know what I mean? This is the type of clothes that the manufacturers pump into the urban markets across the country, you know what I'm saying? So they can identify where you come from. That's the way it seems to me. Cheap clothing that they sell for expensive prices, you know, at high prices. You know what I mean? Like. A lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff people pump into the areas, you know what I mean? So the kids made fashion out of it and it became good, you know what I mean? Like truth and stuff like that. And as far as, what, was it, what else did you ask me? I'm thinking about yeah, this chicken. Right, yeah, right. No, no, but, how, but how does it play in the city environment play? Oh. You know, you know, just being around the city, being around the lyrics, man. Look, look how much lyrics. It's like a teacher with a blackboard, man, a rapper in the city. I mean, because so much has happened. Well, I talk about cops. People can't stop me, neither can the police. You know what I mean? That's like in radio. I can't look down my radio on my first album. That's an attitude where you grow up believing that the police are enemies. You know what I mean? A lot of kids in the in the areas grow up believing the police are enemies or something. You know, it's just everything around you. The subway. You know, I give. Tell your friend said I give you a token. You know what I mean? It all. It definitely is a big influence. It, in the city, it's, you know what I mean. That's the whole thing about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's really nothing I can really explain about it. It's just it's the way it is. You know what I mean? You rap about your environment. No question about it. Your surroundings definitely have an influence on the music you make. You know what I mean? If I was in green pastures all the time, I might start rapping about tulips or something stupid. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, rap can, rap can definitely be used as an influence on kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, for example, the reason they uh, re um, remember and memorize rap songs and don't memorize some of that homework in some of those books of school is because rap, it makes, we make it interesting for them. That's our job, to entertain. So not only is it a lesson, but it's entertaining. Whereas the teacher sits there and teaches, you know, boring and the kids going to sleep, walking, sneaking it on. You know what I mean? The, what the school should do is try to make class more interesting. You know what I mean? Like, imagine how schools would be if maybe, like, in the hallway, in between class, they had a little low music playing just while kids walk to their school or to their next class. You know what I mean? Not just, and when the music goes off, you're supposed to be in your class. You know, at first it would create kind of like a distraction, but after a while it would make the atmosphere more soothing. You know what I'm saying? Even if it was just a little light R&B music, it don't even have to be rap. You know what I mean? Just, just something to make it interesting. Maybe they should, um, not to say anything against old teachers, but maybe they should be younger teachers. You know, more attractive teachers. You know what I mean? I'd be more eager to learn from a nice looking 31 year old black lady than I would from a 90 year old, um, you know what I mean, lady from East Elmhurst somewhere, you know what I mean? Maybe they should get, you know, handsome dudes, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? With a beard, you know what I'm saying? Something that's interesting to the people, something that's interesting to the kids. And a lot of those factors, you know, that plays a part. What do, you, what do you think about rap music as being a literary art form, like a real legitimate art form? Well, uh, rap is an art form, definitely. Rap is an art form because you can rap over any kind of music, you know what I mean? It is not going to die like jazz, you know what I mean? You rap over jazz, rock, pop, funk, anything you want to rap over, it's an art form. The vocals are the art form, you know what I mean? And that's what time is. It's simple. Oh, I mean, it will take what you say as being more honest. Because, you know, the rapper dresses like a... You know what I mean? Speaks about the same things that teenager enjoys. 
You know what I mean? Dresses like him, acts like him, enjoys the same music, same flame. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of us, you know? I'm part of the kids and the kids are part of me. We're all the same. You know what I mean? I just make the music and they dance to it. And I dance to the other guy. You know what I mean? It's all one, because we're a family. You know what I mean? It's just leaders. And you know what I mean? And the other guys, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's together, that's why. I'm not in a suit and tie with glasses telling you how I got my suit and tie and you can have one too. You know what I mean? I'm for real, you know what I mean? Got a nice car just like the guy with the suit and tie, but yet I'm more believable because what I'm doing the kid can relate to because he can, he can probably do it himself or wants to. You know what I mean? It's hard for a kid to relate with a PhD when he's 16. You know what I mean? Relate with a, being a doctor when he's 17. But he can relate with a guy who's talking about candy or um, I'm bad or something, you know, making some good music. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm part of it. So, so tell me which one of your, your, your lyrics uh, or what, you know, two or three lines in a song that meant a lot to you, you know, that had some type of message. And, and, and Instead of, um, well, the lyrics that um, meant a lot to me was, instead of walking like you're limping, talking yang about me, why don't you take your monkey and get a college degree? You know what I'm saying? In other words, what I'm telling the kids to do is, don't run around being jealous of Jack's gold chain, you know what I mean, and John's new hat and uh, Mary's new air bamboo earrings. Get your own. You know what I'm saying? Go for yours. You know what I'm saying? That's what time is. So what do you think the ultimate goal for rap music is? I can't speak for rap music. I represent LL Cool J. I don't represent rap music. Because if I represent rap, that means I, I'm the um, scapegoat for anything any other rapper does wrong. As far as me going, and I'm concerned, I just want to make good records, man. Make music. That's, that's what I like. Is there anything interesting in it? Are you just having rappers who can sing it, whether they're acting, you know? <laughs> you know you get a little more into movie career, you know? Nah, man. <laughs> Definitely no singing. That's out. And as far as acting is concerned, I'm not an actor. I'm for real. You know what I mean? You um, know? I don't care about acting. I'll do a movie, you know, if it came my way. They talk about movies sometimes, but I'm not an actor, you know what I mean? One more question. Okay, what, do you, what do you think the international impact of black music is? Black music has reached far and abroad. He's just showing and proving that urban teenagers can do something. You know? Besides, grab that pocketbook that you always clutch so tight that 90% of them teenagers aren't even worried about or concerned about. You know what I mean? We can do something, man. So, what kind of response you get overseas? Good. Same as here. Loud. <laughs> you know what I mean? The kids are into it over there, they're into it over here. In the city is in the city. Right. You know what I'm saying? Anything special you want to say, man? Just, just don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, you can be here, we all chilling, and I'm going to keep making music. Have faith.